Hey everybody, peace and blessings. It's Ashante Tay Queen Fernandes, and this is your full moon reading for Libra. Your full moon in Libra reading, excuse me. For April 2020. Just trying to get things acquainted. So how are you guys doing? Let's see. Let's get everybody in here. Shaman. Okay. Hopefully everybody is doing okay. No one is stress hopefully you guys have everything that you need in order to make it through these times that we're going through right now all right so that's enough so hello and welcome everybody who's joining us on the live right now welcome 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 So we're just going to get some full moon readings, some full moon energy in here and figure out some of this energy that's going on. There's a lot of astrological energy going on. I'm not an astrologer, but I watch astrologers and, you know, <laughs> the like. So, so if you get the chance, it'd be a good time to go check out an, an astrology reading Especially around specific um, planetary movements and things of that nature. Maybe you can get a progressive chart done. Seeing how some of these movements will affect you personally. Things of that nature. It's definitely a good thing to tune in to all of that energy. Obviously, if you are a lunar Libra, then you will be feeling that energy a little bit <sighs> I know when the moon's in Scorpio look <laughs> okay which is coming up full moon in Scorpio next month right so. <laughs> all right so let's get these cards started for you guys and make sure everybody stays tuned all the way until the end because I will be doing a free reading giveaway for three people who follow the rules that I give you guys at the end so make sure you guys stay all the way till the end so you can qualify for that whole situation Alright, so let's look at what's going on here for you guys. And let's get some of the energy. I'm using my Crystal Oracle deck and I'll actually be pulling from the Native Spirit deck as well. I'm enjoying working with this new Native Spirit deck. It's really, it's really um, potent and impactful. I like the messaging and I like how a lot of it's coming through. They did a wonderful job with this deck, so about that all right so let's open up call upon archangel Mikael, uriah Raphael, and gabriel to be in the four corners to cleanse and clear this space i ask that you open up a divine line of clear and truthful energy all negative energies and entities we've to the four corners now you're not welcome here i shade all right so let's see I also feel like pulling a fairy card too, so I'm gonna pull a fairy card at the end as well. Let me do that. Let me get my fairy cards out over here. Okay. Hmm. I don't know who, but somebody needs a past life reading because the past life deck was like, you better pull me out. So later on, maybe we'll do a past life reading for someone. Okay. All right, Crystal Oracle, please give us 
some full moon and Libra messages for the time we are in right now. Make the messages potent and clear. They got a lot to say. Try and limit that to them three cards. That's the first card that comes up. Hold on. almost forgot to pull the other cards. What you doing, say? <laughs> peace, peace, everybody who's coming in. Thank you guys for joining us. Hello. Thank you. Gotta get this energy in. Make sure we do these readings know what's going on right so welcome welcome make sure again like i was saying you stay tuned until the end because we will be doing a full moon reading um for individuals many readings for you guys okay native spirit deck please give me a card for ah <laughs> i can't even make it up be talking when I be saying what I be saying sometimes. <laughs> Cards be just knowing certain things. Just knowing certain things. Okay. All right. And fairies, do you have a message for us during this time right now? The full moon. They said yes. Yes. Okay. Okie dokie, and I'll pull a charm too. Please give me a charm for this new moon in Libra. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's start off with the first card that's going on. The first card that comes up for you guys is the boji stones card which is balance inverted and it's in the near past position so this is talking about the energy that's been going on leading up to the full moon so if you've been feeling a little bit out of sorts lately or a little bit imbalanced maybe not feeling as grounded or as um connected as you want to feel obviously fear different types of anxieties and all types of stuff like that can uh kind of take you off balance and sometimes even if it's not you being fearful if it's the people around you being fearful or the situations around you inducing that fear it can actually um disconnect you and cut you off from source from mother earth from gaia and she is so important to help you with grounding that energy and grounding out um negative emotions because again the full moon is definitely a very emotional time naturally naturally right so then you amplify it with other situations that are going on in the world and it becomes something that can almost be overwhelming, especially for people who are empathic, who have sensitivities, who are spiritually sensitive to certain types of energies and different situations like that. So make sure you're taking the time to really ground yourself. I think that that's going to be a major theme that's kind of coming up. As I'm looking through the deck right now, I'm looking at the deck. One of those major themes is definitely grounding as well as taking that balanced approach because honestly the cards inverted it, it's there's no balance right now <laughs> I, I don't know if you can tell but there's no balance right now uh, for a lot of people there's kind of an extreme energy that's going on right so when it's hard to find your own center when it's hard to find that balance that you that you might be looking for may be inside of other people or inside of relationships or inside of um, things that bring you comfort, things that are steady to you, things that are familiar, things that are normal to you. When that's taken away, it can create a lot of imbalanced energy that can be um, hard for a lot of people to deal with. So make sure that you're mindful of that energy. Make sure, again, like I said, you're grounding, 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 grounding out that energy, okay? The next card that comes up is the Lenite, which is spiritual awakening. I think that that is so poignant, poignant, excuse me. 
I think that that is something that we all are uh, currently understanding. I was actually looking at a reading done by one of my favorite other readers on YouTube and they were talking about the energy as far as spiritual awakening, something that's that's happening, that's, that's being tapped into by some of the astrological energies that's going on. So it's funny that they pulled the spiritual awakening card and then I pulled the spiritual awakening card as well as we're coming to this full moon energy. So if you're going to experience a increased understanding of your intuition, an increase in sensitivity, an increase in your own um energy field and just and some for some of you this is going to be a beautiful affirmation of different things that you've already experienced coming to the forefront and then for others of us um or excuse me others of you <laughs> this may be a um something that's new to you something that's a process that's coming forward that you may not be used to um so you know it's a shift in energies. It's, it's, it depends on where you are in your own spiritual journey. Are you someone who's been doing this for a while? Are you somewhat new to this? And then if you're somewhat new to this, just again, that grounding is something that's so important. That grounding energy. And again, like I said, that grounding practice is really going to help you because when you first start to spiritually awaken, when you start to open up that third eye energy, when um, your kundalini energy starts to rise um, after you do some spiritual work on healing yourself and doing things like that and your chakras open up, what actually ends up happening is sometimes your uh, a lot of the old debris from past previous lives come up from different traumas that you've gone through comes up and it kind of all gets shaken to the surface so as we're kind of collectively going through a stress of stressful time all across the planet and all across the world it's something that's coming up again as um this can be a trigger or an awakening for some people so again, if you are a naturally spiritual person and, and you've been in this for a while or you're just a naturally spiritual person, period, make sure that you're doing that work that's going to be necessary with the grounding energy because I can't emphasize that again enough as an important piece of being able to study out the energy that's going on, okay? And also if you notice that other people's emotions around you are too much for you, don't don't put yourself in places to receive energy from others that is not in alignment with itself. Remember, it's a full moon on top of everything else that's going on, okay? So think about it. You know how people act when it's a full moon already, right? <laughs> the term lunar, lunatic is not, doesn't have the word luna in it for nothing, right? Luna is another word for the moon, right? So... People can get a little bit energetically uh, crunk, for lack of better terminology, at this time, <laughs> if you will. So just make sure, again, like I said, you stay balanced. And you might be receiving some dreams. Pay attention to your dream world. Pay attention to, pay attention to um, any signs and symbols that you're getting, any intuitive promptings. Um, I just had like a channel the other day like all kinds of messaging, a lot of DNA codon activation will be happening right now, okay? So make sure that you're staying on top of your own personal spiritual process because as you're going through that spiritual process, what's going to end up happening is, again, like I said, a lot of stuff is going to come up to the top, but also a lot of things are going to shift. A lot of things are going to change. A lot of beauty is going to happen inside of all of that as well. So don't be fearful. Understand that the change and the shift is happening and what's going on and how all of that is guiding us for a reason, okay? But just be aware, again, like I said, spiritual awakening, spiritual activation, that energy is something that's coming up again. Also, I'm getting like clearing energy, clearing energy too. So again, clear, ground your energy, do what you need to do, um, engage in your practices, whether it be yoga, meditation, qigong, nature walking, um, sacred dance, um, if it is 
you know, Reiki, if you're a Reiki healer, do some self attunements on yourself and make sure that you help others as well with that energy and that gift. Um, channel that energy into different things and creative outlets. It's a great time to be creative and allow your creativity to be an outlet, even if it's some, even if you're not a naturally creative person at this particular time, use creativity to help you, even if it's not something that you like. Let's say you're just a, like, you like to color. You know what I mean? Go ahead and color and allow that to be an outlet for some of the stress that's going on and some of the different situations that are going on for you guys right now. Okay? Upcoming, upcoming energy, spirit quartz, which is music and it's inverted. So spirit quartz is in this particular deck is actually talking about the resonant energy. So the it being inverted is, is saying a lot. Um, a lot of people are going to struggle to keep their vibrations high, obviously. Um, fear is the enemy of a raised vibration by its definition it is a low vibrational energy. So if you are in an environment that is filled with fear, even if you are not a fearful person yourself, that energy is going to be lower. So make sure, again, like I said, you're doing the different practices that you need to do. Tune, tune into the real energy. Tune into the true energy that's going on with the earth, that's going on with yourself, that's going on within you. Not to say that you shouldn't be wise and be safe and make sure that you do what you need to do to heal yourself, stay safe, stay healthy, all of that wonderful stuff. Yes, that's a part of it. But simultaneously, make sure you're not neglecting your mental health because stress is the biggest issue in any health. As you guys know, I'm an herbalist. I'm also a holistic health consultant. And so, okay, stress can do horrible things to your immune system, to your organs, to your body. Stress is not a healthy state of being to be in, okay? Fear creates stress. It's not a good situation, okay? So make sure that you do things to lift up your spirit and lift up your vibrational energy. Make sure you're listening to music. Make sure that the entertainment that you're consuming, different things like that, are bringing you positive messaging as well. Just watch what you're watching. <laughs> uh, watch what you're listening to. Um, be careful with the type of vibrational people that you let around you or be careful with the type of people that you interact with because sometimes that energy can kind of shift in and jump around as we know okay so that that's just another thing to be aware of just keep your vibrations as high as possible and watch yourself it's gonna be a bumpy ride but it's gonna be a beautiful ride so if you are accustomed to doing that deep down inside out work then this is going to be something that's going to be uh awakening for you this is something that's going to be elevating for you this is something that's going to shift you in different ways and what i'm talking about is not the situation but the energy that's present at this particular time okay so um the bottom of this deck is ruby which is shine and it's inverted a lot of you are struggling with your personal inner de excuse me inner demons and that could be because of, you know, separating yourself <laughs> from other people. You're in your head a lot, of course, right? I mean, I live in my head, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I live in my inner world a lot. And for me, that's, that's something that's very normal. But for some people, it's not. Some people really use the outside external distractions as things that to distract them from the pain that's going on in here. The healing that hasn't taken place in here, right? So... A lot of people might be feeling shaken as far as their confidence levels, as far as their ability to handle different situations. You may feel powerless, you may feel hopeless, you might feel like you're not in a position to do what it is that you need to do. And they're saying release fear. Mm -hmm. Release the fear that's holding you back around those things. And sometimes this is not even related to particularly the outside world, but the outside world can be a trigger for those things that, those ruminating thoughts, those negative thoughts that sometimes come in right? So be aware of that inner world. Be aware of what's going on inside of yourself because all of that energy, all of the energy that you're carrying in your body, in your emotional body, in your light body, in your spiritual body, in all those different levels and layers of how your energy permeates, okay? 
the energy that's being carried inside of that is not necessarily always just something that's immediately um, gratifying. It can sometimes be very layered and there are different things that sometimes get trapped and embedded inside of us, different types of energies that get embedded inside of us. And if we don't do the active work to clear and heal and ground and do all that, those things that I was just talking about, then it can become something that's difficult. So as you're going through this full moon in Libra, again, like I said, I can't stress enough, make sure you're taking care of yourself, make sure you're being creative, make sure that you are shifting your perception and there also saying it's your perception you have to create your positivity for yourself you're going to have to create and be responsible for your own personal energy see sometimes there's a lot of people in, in the world not necessarily a lot of people who's watching this but it can also be people who are watching this a lot of times in the world we depend on other people to uplift our energies or we depend on external situations and circumstances to uplift our energies what happens when you're isolated? You're left alone with your own thoughts, your own inner world. So if you haven't done the work inside of you that you need to do to clear and heal everything that's going on inside here, then when you're left alone with your own thoughts, it can almost be your own worst nightmare. So again, like I said, this ruby shine that's coming up here at the bottom of the deck is something that's a reminder for you to take care of your inner self, the parts of you that are wounded. So the ruby deals with the root chakra. That's primal survival okay that's that's um how you deal with the physical world around you and for a lot of people that energy needs to be cleared out again why grounding is coming up as a major theme inside of this reading rooting grounding making sure that you are connected to the earth because i don't know if you've noticed i don't know if anybody else has done this but i've been outside like not outside around people but outside in nature because you know, I'm a nature baby. <laughs> so I've been outside doing my yoga, you know, outside in the park by my lonesome, like I normally do, because, hi, I'm an introvert. Uh, <laughs> and I like my solitude. Um, so I've been outside a lot. And the energy outside in nature is popping. Like, it's amazing. It's so wonderful. It's so invigorating. Life, nature is moving, it's shifting, it's creating. And that's a thing about humanity, okay? There's a thing about humanity that's kind of vain. We think that our crises affect everything else. But if you look at something as simple as a bug crawling on the floor, and I, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> but like, I've been outside a lot. So if you look at something as simple as like a bug crawling, um, just doing its thing, going about its life, the bug is not worried, okay? The bug knows life is going to move on. The, the flowers are still blooming. The, um, the plants are still doing what they need to do to heal and grow and blossom and everything like that. So life does move on. Life does progress. So tune into the other energies that are here on the planet with us because we are not the only people excuse me we are not the only energy beings or we're not the only life uh on this planet there is many different forms of life and all those different forms of life can kind of help you to tune in to the real reality which is what's going on with nature what's going on with the seasons what's going on with the planets what's going on with the natural cycles of things okay so if anybody is woe is me right now, let that go. <laughs> All right? So those are those cards. Let's look at some of the other messaging that we got from the answering the call comes up for the native spirit deck. This card right here, let me tell you what, came up in my reading that I did for myself personally just a couple, um, an hour ago actually. Um, as I was chillaxing in the, uh, park, if you guys want to go see that, I actually posted a picture of it on Instagram as well. And it's on the, uh, fan page for facebook.com slash Gemini Holistics. I think I shared it on this page too, but you know, a sister got a lot of different accounts and whatnot. But anyway, so like I was saying, answering the call came up in my own personal reading. And this card right here, you see that rainbow? You see that rainbow? You see this this peaceful, luxurious atmosphere right here on this card? This is the answer 
to what you've been what you've been looking for connecting yourself to that energy connecting to yourself to that nature connecting yourself to that inner standing also answering the call is a card that comes up when you are being called into your higher self called into your purpose called into what's meant for you okay there is something that's going on in the world and and how do you want to fit in and how do you want to be remembered at this time think about it because because situations of deep trauma and deep stress can do one of two things it can make you become an extremely compassionate and caring person okay who wants to help others any way that you can or contribute to the healing process of a situation or it can turn you into a monster so think about that energy so a lot of people are actually being called into their higher self being called into their higher purpose right now also this card is a symbol for the energy of if you have been praying or, or trying to manifest something or setting out your intentions about something those things are coming to you those those calls those those uh vo those voice um intentions those things are coming up for you as well so pay attention to the signs pay attention to nature around you pay attention to when someone says a word and that word kind of resonates with you and you see that word multiple places pay attention to the time if you're seeing number sequences and things of that nature those are ways of communication that symbolism that synchronicity and that synchronicity is coming up as a means to um help you to understand and tap in to that higher energy okay so again the next card that's coming up from the fairy deck is believe in magic let's look at that card all right it says open your eyes and see the magic that's all around in nature the fairy of the northern light says you are a part of nature so you too are magical okay so full moons are naturally a powerful time to start setting intentions to manifest um if you are someone who does spiritual work if you're someone who does those types of things this would be a good time to prepare yourself to do those types of things to engage in ritual to engage in um your own spirituality to engage in activating your own magic if you're someone who doesn't do that type of stuff but you just tap into your own self or your own intentions really again like i said make sure you're supporting yourself spiritually so make sure you're getting into your spirituality make sure you're meditating make sure you're praying make sure you're really encompassing that energy why because the things that you are putting out right now are going to manifest almost magically or mystically in your life and if you again like i said nature is coming up again <laughs> tap into nature if you tap into that energy there is waiting for you a amazing reservoir of useful and impactful energy that's there and it's ready for you to use. So if you're a natural healer, if you're someone who uh, creates products that are natural, uh, you sell things that are natural, you help um, encourage that shift to a more natural lifestyle in any way, you're being called upon to use your gifts to help others okay so make sure that you're doing that make sure that you're you are putting that energy out there into the world okay the bottom of the deck for the native spirit deck is ancestors the ancestors are with you the ancestral energy is with you okay do tap in and do that work Loved ones who have passed on, those types of energies, they're here with you, helping you to transition during this time. Make sure you do your ancestral work. Make sure you work with your ancestral altar. You do that type of energy work. It'll help you keep grounded. Why work with ancestors? Because sometimes there's stuff that we go through that's some human shit. Okay? Excuse my French, but some human shit. Okay? And when we're going through human problems, talking sometimes to deities who've never been human or angels who've never been human 
it's not something that they can kind of understand. Our ancestors understand the human struggle. Our ancestors understand that energy. They understand what's going on in the human realm and they can help us. So talk to your loved ones who have passed on to the other side. Venerate their energy. And remember, we stand on their shoulders. Their sacrifices are why we're here. Their energy is why we're here. And why we're able to answer the call in the first place is because they paved that path for us. Okay? So make sure that you're going in and doing that type of work as well. So because of that, I'm going to make sure I pull out my um, messages from Heaven Deck as well. All right, so that is the full moon messaging that's coming up for you guys. Thank you so much. If you didn't get a chance to, you kind of like missed the whole reading, don't worry. It'll be recorded and I'll publish it and you guys can view that. If you guys are coming in to the reading, please stay. Remember what I said, stay till the end. Why? Because I got a surprise. I got a couple of things I want to share with you. Um, and we will be doing, I will be picking three people to do a free reading for you guys. Make sure that you guys, if you need help with grounding, clearing, shielding, all of that stuff, I got you covered. We got you covered. Me and a couple of Reiki masters that I'm cool with, that I know, um, that some that is on uh, the call right now. Whoop, whoop. Shout out to Jamar. Shout out to Hashi L. Okay. We're going to be hosting tomorrow a full moon guided meditation okay for the full moon and libra ascended healing meditation we're also going to be doing we're going to combine reiki with a guided meditation so we'll be guiding you through a visualization process while sending you reiki healing energy so if you feel like you need to clear out some stuff you need some reiki you need to fix your life get your life together Whatever's going on, we're sending out that energy for you guys free of charge. Make sure you check that out as well. I've shared the link on the page. If you can't find it, reach out to me specifically and we'll be on a conference call tomorrow doing that work. Okay? Hey, girl, girl, how you doing, girl? <laughs> no? Yeah, I know. But you didn't miss everything. All right? So make sure that you check out my homies. Jamar and Hashi, um, Jamar Pettis, he's the one who putting his hands up, and go, hey, Reiki, we sending it to you right now. Jamar Pettis, go ahead and check him out and bless the sentience. Go ahead and check out Hashiel on his page as well. We're all Reiki masters, so we do the thug dizzle, okay? So if you guys want to learn Reiki, if you guys need some Reiki, three options. One, two, three, right in front of you. What's up? Okay, so you guys make sure you check that out as well. Make sure you go on over to GeminiHolistics.com. I'm doing a 50% off sale on all my services. All my services are virtual services, so they can be done across distances. I do Reiki, distance Reiki. I do all of it. I do readings, uh, personal readings, all that information is going to be above. Make sure you use the code Oshun or excuse me, OSN999 to go ahead and get that 50% off discount. So the sale will be lasting, I think, until sometime in the middle of next week. So go ahead and get that if you want a personal reading with me about the energies that's going on. You want some coaching, I've got you covered. Every service that I offer is half off. Herbalist, holistic health, all of it. We got you covered. So make sure you go on over to GeminiHolistics.com. Again, G-E-M-I-N-E-Y-E Holistics.com. Check us out. 50% off. All right. Oh, I forgot my charms. Uh, the charm, the anchor charm, are coming in and giving us, again, some of that energy around grounding as well as the um, cowrie shell charm came up. And that's a symbol for divination as well. So again, it's a good time to go ahead and get a reading. Make sure you ground yourself. Do a reading if you do readings. All that stuff. Make sure that energy is there. So thank you guys so much for staying till the end. All of you who stayed till the end. I appreciate all of that. Um, I'll be offering three readings to three very lucky people. So if you're one of those lucky people, um, 
I will choose you guys based off of who comments and who wants a reading. Okay, let me see. I'm finding a piece of paper. Um, okay, so I, if you guys want a reading, com comment down below if you want a fairy reading with my fairy oracle deck, if you want a crystal reading with my crystal oracle deck, if you want an ancestral reading with my messages from heaven deck, or if you want a past life reading with my past life deck, okay? I'm giving you a lot of options today because I'm feeling generous. But three people, okay? So comment down the type of uh, reading you want. Again, fairy reading, crystal reading, past life reading, or ancestral reading. Let me know. Comment down below, and I'll pick the first three people who comment down below what type of reading they want. And I will give you guys those readings. Make sure you guys are liking this video. Share this video with as many people as you think. Okay, we've got Jamar, Curveen, and I need a deck. You have to give me a deck. Which one would you like to work with? Fairy, Crystal, Past Life, or Ancestral? So we've got Jamar's first. Curveen is next. And, okay, La Micha, you are third. I hope I am saying your name correctly, okay? If I'm not, I'm so sorry. But I'm spelling it correctly because I can spell based off of the fact that I see it in front of me. Because other than that, I can't spell. <laughs> so everybody else who didn't get to uh, get a reading with me, you can make sure you book yourself a personal reading. Again, like I said, 50% off all of the information is accessed through our website. Go ahead to GeminiHolistics.com and get yourself a personal reading with me. So I'm doing a fairy. Um, it would have been helpful for me to write that down. Dang. Yeah, yeah, that would have been good. I'm doing a fairy. I'm doing past life. And then I'm doing past life okay told some some said do a past life reading because a couple y'all need some past life insights okay past life Ooh, when i get into it I'm telling you i done had some past life experiences in my time i'm saying that like i'm so old i really feel so old it's because I had a lot of past lifetimes. Damn, too many damn lifetimes. That's what that problem is. You stop coming back. <laughs> I ain't coming back again. No, I am. That's a whole nother story. Anyway, so. All right. Let's get into these decks for you guys. Okay, I got it right. Thank you, Lamicha. Okay, I said it right. Thank you. I, I hate when people pronounce my name wrong. Ashante, I'm like, they be calling me. I mean, my name comes from the Ashanti people, so that's an acceptable variation, but some of the names I've heard. <sighs> no, no, that's not my name, sir. My mother named me very intentionally. All right, Jamar, let's get your reading going. Okay, let's do a past life reading. Call upon Archangel Mikael, Uriel, Raphael, and Gabriel to be in the four corners to cleanse and clear this space. I ask that you open up a divine line of clear and truthful energy and energy for communication. Okay. All negative energies and entities be best your four corners now. You're not welcome here. Sorry, I'm relighting my incense because my incense decided to give up. For those of you who need to get a little uh, smudge on some frankincense and myrrh. How about that? Alright. Past life. 
mini read and give me three cards from the past life deck for Jamal. Give me a charm for Jamon. Okay, the first card that comes up for you, Jamar, in the past life deck is imprisonment or slavery, and it's inverted. So a past life karma that you've dealt with is in a past life you have either been enslaved or you were a prisoner. For whatever reason, your liberties were taken away in that past life and that's a karma that you have to deal with. So something that's important for you to focus on is um, healing anything that has to do with freedom, anything that has to do, and they're saying to me, emotional freedom. Make sure you are making sure that you are emotionally free, okay? Um, because in that past lifetime, it may have been that one of the biggest things that was broken through that whole process or through that whole traumatic thing. Because sometimes imprisonment or slavery can be something that's very physically taxing, but the emotional trauma is something that's very, very big, okay? So make sure that you are doing, and they're saying that's also coming from why you have such a deep sense of right uh, or following what's right or following what you feel is right standing up for what you feel is right there's a deep part of you that feels that way and it has to do with some unfair treatment that happened in that particular lifetime uh when you were imprisoned or enslaved so that past lifetime energy is coming up so any type of healing that you can do around freedom any healing that you can do make sure that your lower chakras are intact and on point at all times and making sure that you are really, you know, living your life in a way that's extremely liberating for you. Because that's the process that you're going to need to keep with you. The next card that comes up for you is angels. In, and your angels are working on you with healing that. You might have a deep connection to the angelic realm. Um, you might do a lot of work with the angelic realm. But the angels are helping you to maneuver and guide yourself into oh okay that's how that that's how this card is normally interpreted angels are helping you heal past life but they just gave me some insight they were like look you spent a past lifetime as an angel that makes a lot of sense okay <laughs> that makes a lot of sense um angelic humans look into it that's a whole thing. Um, some entities and beings have spent lifetimes in different realms and different dimensionalities and different uh, dimensional realities and stuff like that. And so you spent a lifetime as an angel. And that energy that's there in that space is some, some of the reason why you are dedicated to some of your life purposes and the causes that you have now. Angels are very empathic souls, um, soul angels, or people who are incarnated in a physical from the angelic realm. A lot of us do healing work. A lot of us are in tune with that. Look into angelic humans, like YouTube it, Google it. It's a whole thing, and it makes a lot of sense. So you actually spent a past lifetime as an angel as well. So that's interesting. So let's look at what's going on in the next card. Knighthood is coming up. See, that all makes sense. If you were an angel in a past lifetime, okay, and, and this is a thing that people don't understand, a lot of times angels are actually warriors as well, okay? And uh, angels do a lot of battle. Don't don't play, okay? You know, I was always thinking about angels in this uh, uh, mainstream, docile version of what an angel is. That's not what an angel is. A lot of angels are warriors, they're battlers, and you spend a lifetime with that type of energy as an angel. You are a protector, okay? Someone who went in and did that work, okay? <laughs> so, that could all be related. <laughs> Suffering some of that um, energy. Talk to me off camera. I'm, I would go ahead and get a past lifetime reading. 
follows you. Just saying. Not trying to self-promote, but that's a deep past lifetime. The stuff I'm picking up on, I don't even feel fully comfortable sharing with everybody because we are online. But it has to do with some of the reasons how the universe... When I'm seeing these cards, it's, it's about some of the reasons why the universe is the way it is. If you pick up, pick up my drift, okay? So, uh, do some research on that. Again, like I said, look up angelic humans and all of that stuff and give that insight there. <laughs> Even if you don't go ahead and get that ancestral reading, um, I mean that um, past life reading, um, talk to me off camera. Talk to me off camera. Um, and your charm that came up is a four-leaf clover. Four-leaf clovers indicate luck, but it also has to do, and I keep, I'm feeling like the four directions. Okay, I'm feeling like, again, coming back to the angel energy, calling in those four archangels when we do, like, the work that we do. That's incredibly important into providing that positive energy that's necessary for you to do the work that you do specifically, okay? Um, work with the four directions, work with the four winds, work with anything that has to do with four. That's going to be a very stable, look up the numerology of four as well, okay? But four leaf clovers, again, they are often thought to be something that's lucky, um, but it's because of their rarity, because, um, of that particular, um, it happens. It's not something that always happens, but it is a mutation that does appear in the clovers. Clovers are also incredibly healing herbs. A lot of people don't know that, um, clover, the flower and the blossoms that come out of clover is very helpful in healing. Okay. Hmm. All right. That reading is deep. I'm sorry. I didn't get to say all of it, but that reading is deep. All right. Let's let's get the fairy deck out here. And let's do Curveen. You asked for a fairy deck reading. Woo, woo, woo. Okay. No problem. You're welcome, Jamar. All right, so let's see. Your cards just popped out, Kareem, just, just so you know, they just, like, jumped out the deck. All right, so the card that comes up here is nature's signs and says, be receptive to subtle images. Subtle messages, excuse me, from nature as you go about your day. Nature talks to us continually. We need to open our, only open our hearts and minds. We need only to open our hearts and minds. Go outside. Rightnow.com. Hmm. Okay, go outside. It's, it's still nice. A little bit of the day is left. Go your black behind outside. <laughs> I can say that because it's my friend. Anyway, go outside <laughs> um, and get some fresh air. Go outside and connect with the earth. Go outside and connect with nature, um, obviously. Um, that energy is something that's resonant for you. That energy is something that's needed for you. It's healing for you. And also, if you pay attention to what's going on around you, birds, the movement of the clouds, all of that, it's going to give you insight and messaging that you need that's confirmation for different situations that are going on on the inside and here. Those deeper um, worlds that you're carrying inside of yourself. Hidden depths. As I talk about those deeper worlds, Hidden depths. Something hidden is about to come to light. Perhaps a secret or memory at the back of your mind. When we expose what's hidden, we can become free. So something in the depths of yourself, maybe the subconscious aspects of yourself, things that you are not aware of, uh, or things that you may be aware of but you're not fully comprehending or dealing all the way with, 
those things are coming up and they won't be suppressed anymore. And you can't continue to suppress those things because that energy needs to come up. Remember, the main reading was talking about spiritual awakening. Go ahead and go back to that if you didn't get to watch the full reading. The general reading was talking about a spiritual awakening that's happening at this time. So that's an indicator that that's something that's resonating with you heavily. There's a spiritual awakening that's going on within you and that is activating deeper parts of yourself that you maybe aren't even fully aware of. You might be aware of different aspects of yourself, but you're not fully aware of all of those inner things that are going on in that world and in, in your emotions, in um your spiritual walk and, and different things like that. That's why it's important to, again, like I said, get outside, go into nature, get those signs so that you can connect with that inner truth. The next card that comes up is purity. Always trust in the purity of your heart. Look inside your heart and within it, and you will find the answer to your question. Okay? So, again... And that's a pink card. You see that? That's a pink card. Pink is the higher heart chakra. That's not just the heart, but it's where we feel compassion, the thymus gland. That's how we communicate compassion. How we look at the world. How we view that. Open up that space for yourself. Open up that energy for yourself. Open up that emotion. Okay, inside of that, look at that, that's a green card, pink card, together, heart chakra, lower heart chakra and the higher heart chakra. But also that's a pure, that's a pure thing. Your heart is pure. I say that from the reading and I also say that from experience. You got a pure heart, but you need to understand how the minutia of the insides and the inner workings of that are, are maneuvering and activate certain things inside of that for yourself. The bottom of your deck here is healing inverted. It says, now is the time to give or receive healing. Everyone has a natural ability to heal others. Yes, even you. It's inverted though. Stop stopping yourself from your healing path and your healing journey. There's an activation that needs to take place to awaken certain things inside of yourself. And part of that comes down to you doing that healing work. Expressing that part of yourself as a healer. And stop holding yourself back in that area. Okay. So that is what's coming up for you from the fairy deck. Let's see. We get a charm for you. Give me a charm for Curvy. Butterfly transformation. Transformation. Um, transition. Going from one phase to the ne another. But being in full bloom with yourself is what I pick up from this energy. There's a fullness that within yourself that you have yet to unlock all of. And that's going to be very important and very impactful for you. Okay. That's all set. And we got one more past life reading for Lamicha. All right. Please give me past life reading for Lamicha. Okay, what's coming up here is the spirituality and religion card. It's inverted. If you have issues with spiritual systems or, or religion right now, it's because you've 
had negative e experience in a past lifetime that dealt with religion okay having maybe an oppressive force of religion or impressive oppressive spiritual system that was imposing its ideas you're welcome curvy that was imposing its ideas or its will over your consciousness okay and and that could be something that resonates with you as a karma until now there may be apprehension that you might have around unlocking the full totality of your own spirituality and your own spiritual path and your own spiritual journey and any of that that's coming up that's actually coming from a space of um having suffered in a past lifetime maybe for your spiritual beliefs or dealing with a particular religion that maybe didn't fully um align you have the male to female card this is an indicator that in that past lifetime you were in a different gender body okay so that means you had a and experience in a past lifetime not everybody has those experiences not like you know normally souls kind of hop around gender to gender normally most souls kind of have a natural kind of um affinity towards one space or the other space um like in its soul like sometimes you will have it happen where you might have a feminine energy um man that manifests mostly in the female or you might have a masculine energy that um, manifests mostly in the male, but occasionally you have energies that are a little bit more like androgynous, for lack of a better term. And this has nothing to do with your actual physical body per se. This is more talking about on the soul or etheric level. And in that particular the other gender in that particular lifetime okay and the final card that comes up is asia all right and asia is coming up as a place or a setting you also got celtic at the bottom of this deck too so this could have been multiple lifetimes or a lifetime where you travel from one space to another i don't have any of the travel cards but again this is only a three card spread so i can't get all the information um but we're looking at a lifetime that took place in Asia. So if you resonate with um, any type of Asian culture or philosophies or practices, that could be a part of the reason why um, there may be some healing inside of that for you. Because I noticed that this one is upright and this one is inverted. So maybe this Celtic lifetime, and that kind of makes sense because a lot, if you look at the times of the Celt, um, Celts practice like a considered paganistic form like the, with the Druids of spiritual system, but they were con conquered by the Christians and converted, the cults converted into Catholicism, okay? So you might have had an experience with that or in that past lifetime that was negative, but more of a positive association inside of this age lifetime where there was a spirituality that might have been more fulfilling for you or something that helped you to reach a certain level of enlightenment to serve yourself so uh that is what i see for you okay um as far as your past life reading again keep in mind this is a mini reading i'm not able to get all of the information out but if you guys want full readings go ahead check out my half off sale i actually have half services available for you guys okay so, that wraps it up. Make sure you guys join me for my meditation tomorrow. And make sure that you guys um, watch this video for all the way from the beginning if you get the chance to do that. Love you guys so much. Peace and blessings. And thank you so much for spending this time with me. Don't forget to like and share this video with as many people as you think that it can help. I am always here for sharing and helping and all of that good stuff make sure again like i said go on over to geminiholistics.com and check me out over there and I'll see you guys next at the new moon in the meantime between time going over and check out my youtube channel have all of the signs up so for april 